hey there beautiful people welcome back to my channel if you are new here thank you for joining us don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you've been here what's up baby so here are the products that i use to achieve this sleek ponytail and yes baby the wine is needed so we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it i am using the organic straight weave in a 36 inch i got this hair from my local beauty supply store i was looking for the hair that's been going viral on tiktok but the beauty supply store i went to didn't have that type of hair so i settled for this and it was like the best quality looking hair that they had for the master mixes so I went ahead and got this. It was only $12.99 a pack, and I bought two packs, so very affordable. So I'm starting this look off on fresh washed and blow dried hair. Y'all, I have recorded me washing and blow drying my hair, and all my content got deleted. So hopefully I can drop something like that for you guys soon. Then I went in around like the edges of my hair, the nape of my head, and I went all throughout my head, especially on the parts that I can feel still had like waves in them. And I just hit them with the hot comb. Nothing too fancy, just a little hot comb there, hot comb there. I wasn't trying to get my hair bone straight. I just wanted to get rid of the waves that I had at the roots of my head. All right here I'm parting off my edges but honestly guys this part can wait because my edges ended up just getting mixed in with my hair as I was sleeking my hair back anyways so you can wait to do this until you get closer to the top of your head but yeah that's about how much I left out because I had the curls in the front and here we're gonna go ahead and get started with sleeking my hair back so what I did was I went ahead and like set the foundation for my ponytail. I put my first ponytail where I wanted my ponytail to lay, you know, if that makes sense. And then I just followed my shape of my head into that ponytail. And I'm using that got to be free spray to help hold my hair in place and guys I'm also blow drying on a cool setting because if you blow dry on a hot setting it's just gonna melt the hair product instead of drying it so blow dry on a cool setting if you want it to dry of course and that's what we want so so I'm hitting that got to be I'm uh, spraying that got to be on the front part back part of the hair that I'm laying down and I'm also spraying some on the parts that's already laid down and then I go in lay it down and then I'm smoothing with my hand see smoothing smoothing constantly smoothing y'all my arms were tied my arms were tied y'all they was tied let me tell you my arms was tied they still hurt they still hurt and at this point I think it's been three days but yeah, make sure you're following the shape of your head if you're going straight back like how I am because you don't want any overlapping hair. What I mean is like say you freeze your hair into one place but it didn't follow the shape of your head and then the next part that you're slicking down, you're following the shape of your head. It's going to it's not going to be, you know, even. It's going to be off and you'll be able to feel it with your hands, so be sure you are following the shape of your head. That's literally what I'm doing, following the shape of my head. So a lot of this is self-explanatory because it just it's literally just a repeating process. Once you get the I say once you get the first two parts slicked down, it's it's pretty easy from there. And I am using an edge brush to get those little flyaways right there closer to my edges. See, I had some waves in there and I just hit it with that hot comb real quick because if I didn't y'all you'll be able to see the waves 
through my sleek ponytail and I did not want that so I think I only rubber band maybe three times. The first time, which was to set the base of my ponytail, I think once I hit kind of the middle of my head, I rubber band. And then once I got to this finishing part right here, I rubber band. So I don't, my ponytail doesn't have a lot of tension on me at all, at all, you guys. I remember the first time I did me a sleep ponytail, I put way too much tension on my uh, nape area because I was putting way too many rubber bands. So what I did here is I just braided my hair down and then I just pulled it back up and did some rubber bands up there so that way my braid's not all super long. Then I'm using these hair wraps to protect my hair from any glue. I'm wrapping it on there pretty tight. And then I'm gonna glue that end part to help it stick. Y'all wrap it very tight, as tight as you can without ripping the paper. Stretch the paper before you start wrapping it, that will help you. Um, and then start wrapping and glue it, y'all, so that way you know you can protect, protect your hair from any damage of glue. So here's me pulling the hair out the package, and y'all look at it. I think for this to be some $12.99 hair, I mean, who's gonna argue with this? Look at that. $12.99. I'm gonna do an update video maybe in like two more days, y'all. I've been sick, so I've just been in the house and my hair's just been wrapped up. I haven't done anything but make TikToks. So it's still in a pretty good condition. It still looks very good and it looks real pretty right here, y'all. Look at that movement for $12.99. I remember back when I used to buy Master Mix hair, the movement was never like this, like you know, and it always got super nappy super fast but and it was like the more you brush through the hair and I kept that in mind like the more you brush through the hair the nappier it gets so I was like let me not brush through it that much but I've been brushing through this hair just to see and y'all I haven't had that experience yet so so I'm gonna start wrapping from the bottom up y'all be careful on this part um <clears throat> try to get you close to the mirror as you can because I dropped some glue on my neck kind of got in my hair a little bit so just make sure y'all are being real careful right here because you don't want this glue to get in your hair. It's a hassle to remove. And if you don't remove it properly and you get frustrated, you're going to just start ripping out your hair, y'all. And you do not want that. So make sure you are paying attention to what you're doing. And we're just gonna keep wrap, 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 wrapping, y'all. If I look annoyed, it's because my kids were there and they were annoying me. <laughs> they were literally asking me questions every five minutes, y'all, and they were annoying me. So if I'm looking annoyed, that's why, y'all. Excuse my face. So I did have to cut into my second pack. I think I literally probably only cut off about eight inches from the second pack. I only bought two packs because I was afraid that only one pack was going to have my hair looking all thin. But honestly, I feel like my ponytail looks pretty full for me to have only used one pack and then about eight inches from the other pack. So here I'm wrapping my hair. I'm wrapping that last piece. What I did, y'all, I look so annoyed. <laughs> what I did was... um that last track I didn't I mean like the like I would say about an inch and a half of that last track that I added I didn't glue down I literally just took it and started wrapping it around the base of the ponytail and then I took the leftover hair and I sprayed it with the got to be like how I'm doing right here combed it out and just kept twisting it around I put a little bit of glue at the end of the last piece to help it stay y'all honestly I went back through and fixed it because I felt like I felt like I wrapped it and it looked too thick, so I just made it a little thinner. So now, at, at the base of my ponytail, it's not wrapped as thick. But yes, y'all, look at this hair, y'all. $12.99? $12.99? This is some good hair, y'all, for $12.99. I might even go back and get me some more hair and do a little quick weave or something, y'all. I haven't had a quick weave or a sew-in or anything like that in so long and for $12.99 this is some good quality hair I could probably keep it up for about a week so 
that might be something on the to-do list y'all look at the way it's just moving yes I sprayed that uh blue I think it's a lot of body it's like a frizz shine oh y'all look at that oh look at that ponytail look at that no you can't pull it because if you pull it I'm gonna fight you look at that movement oh and I'm serving face if you want to see how I created that makeup look, y'all, I definitely have a tutorial there on my channel. Go check it out. Y'all, look at this hair. $12.99. Y'all honestly couldn't believe it. $12.99. Yes. Well, thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. There will definitely be more videos like this. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for your girl. And you guys, like always, stay blessed.